as we know, there are over 300 hotels all over the country that have now been filled up with people who've crossed the English Channel. One or two brave hoteliers, and it is just one or two, have turned down the money that was offered, and I'm very, very pleased to be joined tonight on this issue, for all the way from Skegness, from the Hatters Hotel, by Gary and Dee Allen. Gary, Dee, thank you very much. Just tell us, please, how much money you were offered, and I understand you've only been running that hotel for under a year. How much money were you offered and what were your reasons for turning it down? OK, we were offered £132,000 every 13 weeks. So roughly just over half a million pounds a year. The reason we turned it down was because of our morals and beliefs. Um, when we bought this hotel, there, there wasn't any migrants or illegal immigrants in, in this town. Um, and within a year, the whole scene has changed. Skegness is a, a seaside resort, uh, and it's been a hub for tourism for generations. Um, and this, people come here for the beach, the sea, arcades, donkey rides, amusement parks, etc., etc. And bringing so many migrants into, into this town is going to put tourism off. It'll become a ghost town. It'll become known as a refugee town. Well, you're absolutely right. But, you know, given how tough the hotel game is, given you've only been there since August of last year, uh, financially, you've taken a heck of a risk, haven't you? Yeah, heck of a risk. We could have, we could have closed down. The, the stipulation was, was, was to close the, the whole hotel down, the bar, the restaurant, the rooms. Um, we've got 10 staff on site at the moment. We'd have gone down to one member of staff. Uh, we only had to change the laundry once a week and to provide one basic meal. That was it. We just we would never ever be a part of the contribution of what is going on. We just wouldn't. We would rather lose everything and be able to sleep at night, knowing that we didn't contribute to what's going on. Well, can I say? Can I say from the bottom of my heart, Gary and Dee, I think you are heroes. You've stood up for your principles. You've stood up for your community. You've stood up for your staff. You've stood up for tourism in Skegness. You are absolutely my heroes of the week. Forget the England football team. You are the heroes of the week. And if I'm coming to Skegness, the next time I'm there, I know where I'm coming to stay. Thank you, both of you. I admire you enormously.